veterans who came through the annex today. I was out there and you were in the home and garden center playing with dogs, eating food and having a great old time and you stayed dry unlike yesterday. Right. Yeah, no duct tape at least today. I don't know if I stayed dry because it was a little hot out there. Okay, yeah, <laughs> might have been a little fair. sweating going on. And you know, tomorrow is going to be even warmer. We've got temperatures that are up close to 80 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. If you are headed out to the fair though, we do have fair skies, so not bad at all. You can see the shining lights there. Yeah, we enjoyed some time out there. Enjoyed seeing some of the veterans as well. Big crowd and we are looking at another warm one tomorrow and sunshine. High temperature close to 80 degrees. If you head out for Friday evening, you've got temperatures that are going to be in the mid 70s early on. Our high this afternoon was 76, so we're a little bit above normal, at least right now. You look at the highs across the area, 77 in Danville and Reedsville, as well as North Wilkesboro and Lexington. Right now, though, cooling off. We've got some 50s across the area, not quite as chilly as it has been. But we've got 57 in Madison, Walnut Cove, 56 in Lexington, and we do have pretty clear skies across the area. The moon's not quite full, but it's pretty big out there. It will be full Sunday night. Tomorrow morning, clear skies, temperatures in the low 40s in the mountains, upper 40s for the foothills, and about 52 degrees for the Piedmont Triad. Here's a look at tomorrow. By lunchtime, temperatures are in the low 70s. It's a nice day. Breezes out of the west. Temperatures getting up close to 80. Plenty of sunshine. In Wilkesboro, Yakinville as well. For your Friday, high temperature about 76, and mountain temps will get us close to 60 around noontime and then into the mid 60s tomorrow afternoon for Sparta and Stewart. Tomorrow evening on area football fields, it will be comfortable. That front doesn't really come in until Saturday, and that's when the cooler air rushes in. So I think it'll be a pretty pleasant night with temperatures in the mid 60s after the sun goes down. A couple of fronts that are here to the west, they will be moving our way. Frost and freeze concerns already over the Plains states, and you can see why. 35 in Rapid City. Fargo is at 38 degrees already, and our temperatures are on their way down. Coldest is probably going to be Sunday morning, upper 30s, close to 40. Then some 40s will be with us in the morning early next week. If you're going to travel tomorrow, maybe headed to the coast, down south to Columbia or to the mountains, forecast highs are in the upper 60s in Asheville, but low 80s down toward Columbia. Saturday morning, we do have some clouds with this front, but don't anticipate much in the way of rain. Cloud cover should kind of push east during the day on Saturday, but it may not be totally sunny and you can see the temperatures are a lot cooler than that 80 we have out there tomorrow. Elon will be on the football field on Saturday afternoon. We'll have temperatures that will be a little cooler in the low 60s by then. And if you are headed out to the Wake Army game, make sure you bring some layers. Maybe consider a blanket. It is going to be a chilly night. Packed house. Temps will be in the upper 40s late night. And Panthers playing at 4.05. That's the kickoff on Sunday. Hoping for a win. Temps are in the mid-60s with some sunshine, and then they'll cool off just a bit. Let's talk about what is now Tropical Depression 13. Remember, we had 12, which was off the coast of Africa. That is already post-tropical, so it didn't live very long. This is new as of the 11 o'clock advisory, now officially a tropical system. Tropical Depression 13 is moving west at 15 miles an hour. This one could become a hurricane, and it does look like it is headed for Central America, potentially some of the resorts there in the Yucatan Peninsula. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Julia would be the next name on our list of storm names. Here's the seven day forecast. Temperatures are going to climb a little bit into next week. We should be closer to 70 degrees. We do have dry skies, small chance of rain on Thursday.